Hey guys, the name is Chris Parochi. Welcome to Gear Corner. Today, I want to show you one of the most talked about and also hyped dumbbell style overdrive pedals, the Cornerstone Gladio Double Preamp. In case you enjoy my videos, please hit like, subscribe to the channel, and also check out the description box for additional infos, timestamps, gear links, and all that kind of stuff. It says it's a preamp, which makes me wonder why most people use the pedal in front of their amp instead of going straight to the power amp. I'll start with plugging it in my Rev Dynamics clean channel. So it's gonna be in front of the amp and the Gladio will act like a normal overdrive. Then I'll plug it in my Mesa Mark III's effects loop return, which means that the Gladio is going to be the preamp and it goes straight to the Mesa's power amp. You can only do this on amps that have an effects loop, but since it says it's a preamp, I definitely want to test that too. It's not gonna be a lot of talking this time. I give you tons of playing instead with different guitars, having different settings on the pedal and by using it in front of an amp or in the effects loop. I'll drop the specs between the playings to, well, to keep the video less dry. Oh, and I'm pretty sure you wanna hear the Gladio being compared to my King of Tone or the uh, Honeybee amps Double Trouble or other awesome overdrives. Uh, I'll not do that this time but only because I'm making a full-on comparison video very soon, including all of these hyped top-notch overdrives. I'll even borrow a duelist for that one, so um, it's gonna be all in there, maybe except for a clon, which I cannot get, but the rest is gonna be in there, so stay tuned. Okay, the specs. It has two overdrives, or I should say two preamps built in. The left side is the sweeter one, it has a bit more bass and sparkle and it's more spongy than the other side. It's just a beautiful sounding low gain drive. The right side is different. It sounds a little narrower, so a little less bass and treble or sparkle on top, but it has a very special mid-range, something I've never heard uh, from other pedals until now.
the knobs are super simple. You have tone, gain, and volume per side. That's it. The mini toggles are awesome. This little switch um, changes the amount of compression for the left side. So uh, if it's in this position, it compresses a little more. It's a very easy to play tone that way. And if you go over to that side, you have all the dynamics in the world. If you just barely touch the strings, it doesn't even distort at all. And if you dig in, you have tons of gain and sustain all of a sudden, uh, which is, this is a special one. The right side also has a mini toggle, which is called Jazz or Rock, and it does what you expect. The EQ changes a little bit, and with the, um, the Jazz side, you have less sparkle on top, and with the Rock, it just opens up. And this little toggle switch in the middle is really clever. It changes the way you can turn on and off the sides. In the stacking mode, you can have one, the other, or both sides on at the same time. In the, let's say, flip-flop mode, you can have this side on or that side. Let's say you have the left side on and then you step on the switch for, this, for the right side. With that, the left side automatically turns itself off. So it's a flip-flop mode, super useful. If you look at the jacks, it looks like you have one input, one output, and of course the power plug. Uh, it's not that simple though. Both are TRS jacks, and if you use like a Y split TRS cable, you can have both sides of the pedal independently connected to different loops of a switcher. So you can sort of remote turn both sides on and off from your switcher in case you want to use that.
my impressions, the Gladi was awesome. I have no idea how close it is to the real Dumbo amp overdrive sound. I never played one, I never even had the chance to listen to one in person, I only know the recordings. But to be honest, I don't really care too much about this. All that matters to me is that the Gladio feels and sounds different than all the other overdrive pedals I ever played. And I mean that in a good way. <laughs> the left side sounds sweet, spongy, chewy, and the right side sounds narrower, but has a, a dry and super cool mid-range. And if you stack the two sides, it starts to sound fuzzy in a way, which is also very unique. I've never heard that earlier from like double sided overdrives. All in all, it's uh, an inspiring little box, really. I'm really looking forward to discovering even more from it in the next couple of weeks. Let me know what you think about the Gladio in the comments below. Have you ever tried it? If not, is there anything I forgot to mention and you want to know? Meet you down there in the comment section and see you next week in another video. I'll be back. Bye bye.